Just in time for Easter, I wanted to show off these egg decorating bots that we built here at Spratronics. And we've got this one in the middle that kind of gives you a good idea of what we're trying to do. So the challenge this week for our students was to build a bot that could spin an egg so that we could decorate it. And so this is day three of these builds, and we've made a lot of changes over the course of the week to how these look. But we'll take one of our eggs and just give you an idea of how it works. Drops in here for this one, and it gets pinched in between these eggs. And then we use the heart program to start spinning it. And then as it turns, you can use a marker on it. This one was one of our first drafts, and then they continually got better as we went forward. I have directions that I'm going to send you for this one that was de designed by Tufts University. It's a pretty cool one that uses four of our wheels and some gears to get all the wheels turning. And you just set your egg right on those wheels and you press the button slightly and it'll start to rotate the egg around. And then you just take a marker, any color you want. And as you press your marker down on it, it'll create lines for your egg. And so we created some really beautiful eggs this week. So I'd love to see you design your own egg decorating robot in time for Easter. You'll need some hard boiled eggs. You'll need a spike prime kit as well as some markers. And what you're trying to do is you're just trying to make a robot that spins some wheels that will hold an egg in place. Now, your first try might not work quite right, and you'll figure out how to enclose it in a cage like this, and that'll hold the egg still in there. This student made some adjustable grips so that they can make it move closer to their egg or farther away from their egg to clamp it in there. And when they press the button, they just tap the button, it spins the wheel, tap it real hard, and it turns off. Or you could use the heart program, and if you plug in a sensor and a motor across from each other, that sensor will control the motor that you have plugged in across from it. So for this one, I just have to press down, and when I press, it spins my motor. I press harder, it spins faster. I let go, and it stops. So this is a really cool build of some egg rotating robots, or egg decorating bots. I can't wait to see what you make. This is just a quick little challenge or idea for Easter season. Thank you. Have a great day.